right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. So, it's been an interesting couple of days, to say the least. Um, and it's about to get even more interesting when you guys watch this video. So, there's been a lot of rumors going around. Obviously, by now, you guys have all heard the big announcement. There was a letter posted on Discord by Mike Waddell saying that MetaZoo is closing its doors. They're going to be shutting down all operations effective immediately. And in the wake of that, there's been all kinds of rumors and all kinds of speculation about what's going on. Um, and I, I will say, by the way, it's been entertaining to watch. There's probably been more videos made about MetaZoo in the past 48 hours than there have been in the last two years. So it's been interesting to watch all these videos over the last couple of days because really the MetaZoo, the MetaZoo content like just didn't exist for the past two years. So it was kind of cool to see so much um, discussion about MetaZoo. So th there's been a lot of rumors going around, but there's one really big one I want to address in this video. But before I do that, I want to tell you guys what I do know for sure. That's not a rumor. So I spent a lot of time last night researching on, there, there's two websites that you can go to to look up bankruptcies, um, lawsuits, just all court cases of any kind. One of them is Pacer, and one of them is an SEC website, an SEC database called Edgar. Um and what I did find on those websites is nothing. There are currently no bankruptcy filings by MetaZoo. There's currently no bankruptcy filings by Andy Murat, uh, Mike Waddell, or Shaw Mead. There's currently no lawsuits. I saw a lot of rumors about a lawsuit from Sanrio to MetaZoo. Um, there's currently no lawsuits naming MetaZoo in any way, or Andy, or Mike, or Shaw. So sometimes those things can take time to end up on the website, but I verified this by searching Sanrio, and there are Sanrio lawsuits, a lot of them. Sanrio is very litigious, as recently as this month already listed on those websites. So as of right now, MetaZoo has not filed for bankruptcy, nor has anybody involved with it, and there's currently no outstanding lawsuits, at least available, on any of these public databases. So I guess that's good news if you wanna believe that MetaZoo is not dead. But we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, also, MetaZoo's LLC is still active and listed as good standing. So there's that. So let's talk about these rumors. So the big rumor, I'll talk about the general rumor that I've heard before I get to the specifics. So generally, there's been lots of rumors, but one of the ones that I was hearing consistently from several different people that are not just random people. This is from former employees, partners, players, other content creators. And that rumor is that MetaZoo is currently pending sale. Um, and that Mike Waddell, as part of that sale, is to be excluded from MetaZoo, essentially. He's basically going to get the boot as a part of that sale. Um, so that's the rumor that I'm hearing the most consistently, and there's been some new developments with that that we're going to talk about here in a minute. Um, so this rumor, and again, I don't know any of this to be true, but this is the most prevalent rumor that I'm hearing from relatively reputable sources, people that used to work at MetaZoo, um, like I said, players, staff, partners, like not just random people saying this. Um, and then so essentially... People are saying that the Discord post that Mike made was a temper tantrum. He was pissed that he was going to be booted out of his creation, essentially, as part of this sale. And he wanted to take the ship down with him with that post. And this kind of makes sense and would add up with the story because of the fact that what we saw happen was that Discord post went up. The MetaZoo Instagram was deactivated. And then shortly after, that Discord post announcing the closure of MetaZoo was deleted, and then the MetaZoo Facebook or the MetaZoo Instagram page was reinstated. And now what I'm hearing is Mike is no longer a member or has no access to the official MetaZoo Discord. So the rumor is that MetaZoo is in the process, or maybe even finished now, with the sale to Bandai. And again, this is a rumor, but Bandai is the company that I've heard has bought MetaZoo. And so people are saying, well, MetaZoo's not dead now. But when you really look at how crazy what happened was, if this is true, 
if MetaZoo was sold and Mike was kicked out of the company and he really threw a temper tantrum trying to bring down the ship with him, what a slap in the face that was to everybody in the MetaZoo community that has stuck around this long and supported his dream and his vision and his company. And so even if MetaZoo is being sold or has already sold to a company like Bandai, I think it's still dead. I think that what Mike did can't really be reversed. When you look at the totality of everything that Mike said in that initial letter, that was basically an apology letter to the community and how they're going to do things right and how they're going to fix, you know, they're going to get the pre-orders, the backlog product out to people. They're going to really address all the concerns that the community had to just a month later. If this is really what happened, Mike saying, Mike trying to bring down the ship with him, if that's true. I mean, what a slap in the face to the only people that stuck around. I mean, everybody at this point, the majority of MetaZoo supporters and fans didn't stick around this long. A lot of the people that have been making videos in the past 48 hours left MetaZoo a long time ago. And they're just saying, I told you so. I saw this coming. Um, and that's fair. And I think that even if MetaZoo is sold to a company like Bandai, and it's not dead per se, they're not shutting down their operations, they're still going to continue to come out with sets, they're still going to continue to print. Um, I think the damage was done. I mean, this was... <sighs> As much as I want to believe, because I'm a fan of MetaZoo, and I, I love the I love the theme, I love the idea, I love so many of the cards, I love the artwork. As much as I want to believe that MetaZoo could be saved, or that it's not dead, or that this sale could turn things around, I think the damage was done. And I know a lot of people might be excited about this news if it's true, that Mike Waddell is out. But I think he may have achieved what he intended to do, even if the sale went through despite all this, um, I think the damage was done. And I think that it's going to be a, if, if MetaZoo does continue with another company owning the IP, it's going to be a long road back to even a fraction of what MetaZoo used to be. They're going to have to really win people over to bring them back myself included. I mean, you guys can see on my eBay, like I said, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm keeping all the stuff that I like, all the artwork that was the coolest, all the stuff that personally to me was the coolest, all the revive boards, all the stuff that I really liked. But I'm selling anything that I felt like was too big of an investment in MetaZoo. Cards that were at one point worth thousands of dollars. Um, I don't want to hold a position like that as part of the race to the bottom as everyone's getting out of MetaZoo. So I'm selling cards like that. But I'm actively picking up booster boxes just in case MetaZoo is dead and is not sold. Maybe someday I'm going to want to open MetaZoo booster boxes just for the nostalgia or the fun of it someday. So I'm picking up some of these booster boxes that are like $20, $25 with the money that I'm making from those cards. And I'm keeping the majority of my collection, but eBay link in the description below. I just listed two uh, Revive Mothman on there. Um, but yeah. I'm going to read you guys some specifics. This has been going on in Argos's Discord um, and also on 4chan. Now, again, this is alleged, and I believe it was posted by an anonymous user. So take this with a grain of salt. But one thing that we can confirm is that Golden Distribution, people have been reaching out to them. And Golden says, to their knowledge, MetaZoo's still in operation, they, and they're the main distributor. They might distribute everything. I think anything that you order from the MetaZoo marketplace is distributed by Golden. Um, and they said, to their knowledge, MetaZoo's fine. They're still around. So that's kind of interesting, and that is confirmable. There's been multiple people that have reached out to Golden. I'll read you guys what Golden said, too. Let's... So this was about one of the pre-order items, and Golden responded, Hello, from what I understand, which isn't much, that notice was taken down and they are dealing with internal issues, and as of now, we haven't received any official word on the game's closure, and I would recommend reaching out to MetaZoo Management for more up-to-date information regarding the company. As a distribution company, we are not privy to anything more than the standard gossip. So again, this is an instance where I think the damage may have been done. This is MetaZoo's biggest, maybe only distributor, and they don't even know what's going on, and they're seeing all this, and they're probably getting all these angry, concerned emails they're probably like, what the fuck did we sign ourselves up for? What did we get into bed with with MetaZoo? Um, so this action by Mike could cost MetaZoo their biggest distribution partner in Golden. Now, this is one of the 4chan posts. 
um, from one of the anonymous users. All right, so this is one of the 4chan posts, and this was by an anonymous user, but I'm going to put it up on the screen for you guys. You guys might not be able to read it that well, but it says, um, Mike and Andy intentionally, and again, this is all alleged. This is rumors, an anonymous poster, but this seems to be the rumor that has the most legs to it. But it could just be some random troll. But this rumor seems to have some legitimacy to it based on everything that I mentioned earlier. You know, MetaZoo hasn't filed for bankruptcy. There's no lawsuits. Their LLC is still in good standing. So this says Mike and Andy intentionally forced their teams to not be in direct communication with each other during work. They thought it was more productive to keep teams in the dark on projects rather than everyone on the same page. Um, probably be bringing up these two. I'll probably be bringing up these two problems quite a bit and go back to them. Uh, the game was closed because Mike pissed his pants and got mad that he was being forced out of the game, his game child by a potential buyer. They had recognized that everybody in the world hates him and he tried to take his toys and leave prematurely prematurely problem is he didn't have the authority to do it on his own lol so he tried to take down everything with him and the rest of the board made him put everything back up and shut up so the game is actually not dead at least not on paper mike is now being threatened by the board with legal action due to the damage his tantrum caused um i can spill anything just depends on what you want ask me questions and that might get you better info there's too much stuff to just dump, but I guess I don't know. I, they had at least four sets completely finished, but somehow never got released. Another Andy and Mike ball drop. Um, so then I believe this same person continued. This was also on 4chan. I'm going to leave some parts of this out. Uh, but they said, I'm hearing Bandai has bought MetaZoo even after the ship Mike pulled. Mike and Andy could have paid all parties, employees, and consumers, but they chose to keep the profit for themselves. MetaZoo isn't dead, but it's about to drastically change. But if you hated Mike, then it's probably going to get a lot better. Um, Mike has not created anything since the initial conception. His team created anything and everything story-related visual after CN1. Literally everything. I'm honestly not even sure if he made the idea himself. There was an original Kickstarter team that he purged, so he could have taken it from one of them. Steve Aoki also does not give a single fuck about the game. Him and Andy are the direct cause for the NFT bullshit. Mike and Andy do talk massive shit about every friend, employee, partner, doesn't matter. Yes, that includes Argos and Bailey. And no one but the board knows where Mike is. The CFO and Andy hate each other. Departments in their company. Okay, we'll leave that part out. So that's the gist of it. So the speculation is this was a massive temper tantrum thrown by Mike Waddell in an attempt to bring the company down because the sale was going to force Mike out. Um <sighs> It's just embarrassing, man. Honestly, it's embarrassing. Like I said, I want to be optimistic. I want to look at the glass half full. I want to be excited and say, okay, cool. MetaZoo will continue to live on. But this is just such an embarrassment and such a slap in the face to everybody that supported Mike's dream, his game, his idea. Just going down this way is so sad. And it's just, it's pathetic. And maybe, you know, in a, in a sense... I feel bad for Mike. And again, all this stuff is alleged. But if this is true, I feel bad for Mike. This was his brainchild. This was his baby. He's being forced out. And maybe he's having a mental breakdown right now. Maybe he's really going through it mentally and emotionally. And I'm sure this isn't easy for him. But what an embarrassing, sad way to go out. I mean, I don't want to be too negative on the guy, but it's embarrassing. It's just, it's just flat out embarrassing. All these people that stuck around this long just to be treated like this, just for him to try to tear everything down because his ego was hurt, because they wanted him out because people didn't like him. It's just sad. And it's just, it's so beautifully almost par for the course for MetaZoo because MetaZoo can't do anything right. They can't even sell the company correctly. And if they are shutting down, they can't even shut down correctly. They botch that. They botch everything. And it's just crazy to me that this, I don't know, man. I really don't know what to say. If this is true, it's just pathetic. It's sad. And that's really all there is to say. That's the big rumor. It sounds like there's a good chance that MetaZoo is not dead on paper. But like I said, I really think the damage was done. And um, it's going to be interesting to see. I, I feel like there's going to be so much more to come out about this in the next couple weeks, the next couple months, if any of this was true, we're going to find out. 
so make sure you subscribe. But man, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this rumor. <sighs> Maybe MetaZoo's not dead, but I don't know, man. This certainly seems like this could be it. Even if it's sold, it's like this is this is going to be a tough one for them to come back from. This is rough. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.